good morning, beautiful people. I'm going to do some more positivity cards. Yay! So, I'm going to give them a shuffle and see what we come up with today, shall we? Okay, universe, what would you like us to concentrate on? Oop, what bit of positivity do you want? Here we go. <laughs> so true. Happiness is a choice I make. We can make our own happiness, very much so. We can choose to be happy. If we can choose not to let things get on our nerves, <laughs> um, we can choose to be positive, we can choose to stop focusing on everything that doesn't concern us, um, we can choose not to focus on things that we can't control, you know, because we can't control anything other than our own reactions. Um, there is a, a good sort of little saying. Um, don't react, respond, you know. Many of us react, sorry I've just dropped the card. Many of us react to things, you know. If someone says something and it can get our back, backs up or it can make us happy, it can make us sad, you know, it can trigger a whole lot of emotions, you know. But that's something that we do have control of. It takes practice, very much so takes practice. You know, it's taken me many years to, to learn emotional control. Um, because I am an emotional person, um, very much so. That's what my personality disorder is. Um, <laughs> emotionally unstable personality disorder. Um, that's what I was diagnosed with, you know. Which, yeah, my emotions, not so much on the negative, well, on the anger side of things, no. Um, I have had my moments, I do eventually blow, or did eventually blow. Um, which, yeah, after many years of pent up anger and not letting it out properly, um, yeah, I was bound to. But that was like fueled by alcohol as well. So, you know, this is why I don't normally drink. Um, you know, so I can keep control of my emotions. Um, but yeah, it's, it was a big lesson that I learnt last year <laughs> not to be emotionally manipulated by people, you know. Some people are so blatant with it, they'll be in your face and, and you know, they want an anger response. Um, and that's what society normally does, isn't it? When somebody gets your back up, you, need, you have a rant and a rave, you get angry, you get sad, you get upset. Um, but that's what they want. They want that response from you. So your head's fucked up and focusing on things that you, you doesn't need to be. So when you gain control over your own emotions um, and you choose not to let people manipulate you in any way, what shape or form, you know, whether it comes to people around you, whether it becomes it's media, whether it's on you know social media, whether it's on the news, whether it's programs, you know, they're all there to give you a you know emotional manipulation, make you buy things, make you feel bad about yourself, make you do this, that, and the other. Uh, but when you start to actually understand and see all these things for what they are, you can choose not to react. You just respond. You can sit back and think, right, okay, so what's this advert or person or the news or what's this situation trying to make me feel? And if it's something that's going to make you respond in a bad way, then, you know, do you want to? Is it worth it? Is it worth getting angry because somebody said something bad to you? Is it worth getting upset because somebody said something bad to you? Because it's not normally to do with you anyway. It's not because of you. It's normally because of them themselves. They either want something from you, so, you know, they try and trigger those childhood traumas or any traumas that you've had through your life, you know, um, just so that they get what they want from you, whatever it may be, you know. There's so many different angles that, that, that it can come from, you know. But once you start actually realising what's going on, and you choose not to play into their games, play into their manipulation, your life gets a hell of a lot better. <laughs> you don't have to worry. That worry just goes away. Um, but happiness is a choice that you can make every single day. You can choose to get up and do things that make you happy, 
you know, I choose to get up in the morning and put my music on. Um, it makes me happy. I could choose to stay in bed all day and focus on all the bad things that's happened in my life, which is what I used to do. Um, but I didn't realise I had that choice, you know. Um, you know it was very strange, actually. <laughs> the way I used to think to the way I think now. Completely, completely different. Um, so much difference. But yeah, I choose to focus on the good. I choose to focus on happiness. I choose to focus on what makes me happy. Um, and yeah, there's people around me that choose to try and manipulate my emotions. So I know that what they're doing. Um, and I'm not going to let them do that to me. You know, you will find it with a lot of toxic people that they will use your emotions to manipulate how you respond to them how you react to them sorry but if you can sit back keep hold of your emotions yeah okay understand what they are and where they come from okay this person said something it's made me feel angry i'm feeling angry because this person said something all right well let me think about this situation has what this person said true uh have they said this to get a reaction out of me what reaction do they want from me what reaction and response should I be giving from that? There's so many different aspects um, and it takes a lot of practice, it really does. Um, you know, like I said, I've been doing this for a few years now, um, but it's only last year really that it all clicked into place with certain people. It was like, right, okay, yeah, this person's doing this to me, they want this response from me, I'm not going to give it them, you know, because that's what they want. They want me to play into it and I'm not going to do it. Why should I? Why should I make myself feel bad and horrible just because somebody else wants me to feel bad and horrible? It's not nothing to do with me. It's nothing to do with what I've done. Well, actually, it was something that I've done because it was me pulling back my energy from them and, you know, that was their response. <laughs> but it was a predictable response. I knew it was coming. I knew what they was doing. So, you know, I'm not going to play into their games because it's, it's called trauma bonding, um, emotional manipulation. People will try and find a way to trigger these little, you know, your heartstrings and things like that, or your anger, you know, it's, it works both ways, you know, people can make you feel sorry for them. Um, so you reach out to them, so you go, oh, I'm so sorry, you know, you, you give them that attention, you know. Or if that doesn't work, they'll try a different way, make you feel jealous, make you feel angry. But it's all fake, you know. It's just so you play in to what they want from you. It doesn't matter if, like I say, it's if it's your friends, your family, if it's social media, if it's the news, if it's programs, you know, whatever you watch on TV and stuff like that, you know. You know, you, you can sit down and watch a film. <laughs> You know, a romance film, you know, a drama, you know, they all pull on certain emotions. Um, but we can choose which emotions we let in and use in the right way, you know. Um, emotional intelligence, I think they call it. You know, which a lot of people, especially me, I was never taught. I was never taught because I was brought up by a narcissistic person. <laughs> Um, they use your emotions against you every single day, you know, you don't know, if you're left from right, you're up from down, you're inside from outside, you, you know, it's, everything's a lie and everything is done to manipulate you so you feel bad, so you want to make up for feeling, you know, that you've done something bad to somebody when you haven't, you've done absolutely nothing wrong, um, it's just a manipulation tactic. So happiness is definitely a choice and I make that choice to be happy in my life every single day even when I'm feeling bad especially when I'm feeling bad you know when I wake up and I'm feeling really really bad um, which isn't as often as it used to be <laughs> which thank you very much uh, thank you universe that's brilliant you know um, yeah I used to wake up feeling so bad about myself and that I, you know and how I thought I've been towards other people when it was just all lies, you know, I've done nothing wrong at all, so I, I didn't need to feel bad about myself. 
but that's what manipulation does and that's what narcissistic people do um, that's what toxic people do <laughs> I know people go on about narcissist or the word narcissist narcissistic narcissist it's it's a very popular word at the moment but what other word can you use you know um, I'll be going I'll be going college to learn um, or university to learn psychology so you know it is a term that I will be needing to use throughout my studies you know it is part of toxic behavior um, and it, it just gets dragged through you know like it's it's a new fashionable word or something like that narcissist and narcissism no it's not a new fashionable word it's just that it's been brought into light you know people are mentioning it more because it's people become more aware excuse me <laughs> spitting over becoming more aware of, of everything that's going on with narcissistic behavior toxic people um, yeah, uh, even people that I know that I talk about narcissistic behaviour to, they're like, oh, oh, narcissist, narcissist, yeah. Just call him a dickhead, you know? <laughs> well, yeah, the dickhead. <laughs> but yeah, if I've got to go to college and, uh, or university and, and learn about all this, I need to be writing it in the proper way, you know? Um, from the psychological perspective or the scientific terms and things like that, you know, it's, it's like going and doing my science, you know, <laughs> learning algebra and things like that. It's a term for a certain behaviour, for a certain theory, a certain person, a certain type, you know, it's like, I'm a woman. That, you know, it, it's a name for a certain thing, you know. <laughs> you get a man, you get bisexual, you get pansexual, you get all sorts of different things now. But it's a certain term for a certain person. You know, that's all narcissistic or narcissism is. It's a term for a certain type of behaviour uh, or a certain person, you know. Not everybody that has narcissistic behaviour is a narcissist. Um, not everybody that's an empath is a kind person, you know? <laughs> You've got to determine these things. But yeah, I think I've offered on enough now again. But yeah, happiness is a choice that we make um, every single day. I choose to be happy. I choose to bring happiness into my life, especially if I haven't got it, you know? And we can choose to do all this. And we should choose to do all this. You know, we do have a choice, and not many people know that they have the choice to make the decisions for themselves, to choose not to worry, to choose not to be angry, to choose not to fall into the trap of somebody else's emotional manipulation. So please, do choose what's best for you, and what makes you happy, what makes you healthy, you know, because happiness does bring a healthy feeling, especially up here, you know. Definitely. In fact, one of my therapists, um, Christine, she doesn't actually work as a therapist anymore, but um, yeah, it was the best, best sort of therapy that, that started me off on my healing process. Because I'd had therapists before and, you know, they tried to do all these things. And um, Jane, you're just going through some stuff at the moment with your... Um, with your therapist and, and doing the, the, the whatever or the touch, I can't remember what it is, but yeah, you focus on your trauma and you, you, you count backwards and it's supposed to feel better, but no, that, that wasn't how, what it didn't work for me. Um, mine, I needed to focus on my emotions. I needed to focus on bringing happiness into my life, you know? That, that was the first thing that she said to me. She says, I don't need to know about your traumas. I don't need you to speak all about that. You've lived that so many times, you don't need to speak about that. I just want to know what's going to make you feel happy right now. How, what can you do today that would bring happiness into your life? And the first thing I thought of, well, she said, go back to a time where, where you, you felt your happiest and your freest. And it was, it was when I was 16, 17, when I moved to Leeds and um, I got into rave music. Um, so uplifting, it really was. 
Um, I mean, nobody, n nobody knew me uh, when I moved there. So it was a brand new opportunity to start again. Um, and getting into the rave scene with all these people, like-minded people, that were just dancing. And dancing to the music and having the be best time of their lives. Um, there was no conflict. You know, everybody was there just to dance and to be happy and have an amazing time. And it was the first time I felt free uh, and happy. And she said, well, try and recreate that in your everyday life. I mean, the quickest way I could do that was to actually just listen to the music, you know? My neighbors didn't like it because obviously uh, rave music, um, you turn it up quite loud and you dance away and it's boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it is boom, you, you know, it will do some people's heads in. But yeah, under the circumstances, you know, some neighbours, they understand, and neighbours, they didn't. But you know, I needed to do that for my betterment, for me to get well. Um, so it doesn't matter what you need to do um, to make yourself happy, do it, you know. Even just for five minutes a day, uh, first thing in the morning, the first thing that will make, make you feel happy, put your most favourite piece of music on. Um, something that's uplifting for you, that gives you goosebumps all over, you know, you're, you're, it doesn't matter what sort of music it is. It, it, my daughter and, and um, a, a lot of my friends actually, uh, Heather as well, um, <coughs> excuse me, they like, um, oh god, they're, they're into the heavy metal, the, the metal music. My daughter's into thrash metal and, and all sorts of stuff, you know, you've got these singers like, oh, 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 deep throat voice, you know, and it is proper heavy metal music. But that's uplifting for them. For me, it's rave music. I also like, you know, classical music, you know, I have a wide range of music likes. I even like Mongolian throat chanting, so, you know, <laughs> that's uplifting to me as well. You know, it, it doesn't matter what sort of music is, as long as it makes you feel happy. And it can set the mood for the rest of the day. Um, and it counteracts all this chemicals that's going on in your brain. Because um, when you're stressed, you release a stress hormone. The body releases a stress hormone and it actually affects part of your brain, the hippocampus. And it shrinks it and it stops the processing um, of your thoughts and real time into the back of your brain. I mean, um, I was talking to Jane about this a, a little while ago and she understands it now as well. Um, once you stop that stress hormone from being released, that's when your dopamine, <laughs> dopamine <machine. laughs> uh, serotonin and all that, they start to react and start being produced and you get calm and you feel happier. But until you stop that process of the stress hormone being released, then, you know, you're going to feel bad. So you need to stop it, you know? It's like, it, you know, if, if somebody was coming to build, toward you with your knife, you'd run away, wouldn't you? You'd stop them from doing it. You'd, you'd put your hands up or whatever. You, you would try and stop somebody from harming you. So it's the same in your brain. You need to put that stop whether it's putting on music, whether it's not going on social media, you know, I, I don't go on social media when I need to step back away, when I'm, I'm feeling stressed and things like that, because I do get triggered by certain things, or I used to, not so much now, I still do now and again, but you know, it's like news, I won't watch the news, not mainstream news, because it gets my back up so much, you know, it triggers those Oh, I'm not even going to speak about it because it, it really just... <laughs> but I won't allow that. I'm not allowing the news to do that to me. Yeah, I'll keep up with current events now and again when I feel like I need to. If there's anything important, I'm sure I will hear about it some way or another, you know. Um, but yeah, sitting down and watching the news, especially over here in England, um, yeah, it, it is. It, it's just constant doom and gloom. You know, you feel bad about yourself, feel bad about the world, feel bad about this, feel bad about that. And it is constant in your head and in your head and in your head. 
and then you go out and everybody's talking about how bad it is and this, that and the other. You turn on the television and you you look at the programs, you know, you, you have... And it's all doom and gloom. Everything that's on the TV, murder this, murder that, this, that. How much can you take before you just go... You know, and it is, a lot of it is just there to enforce that trauma bonding, you know? Um, so we feel bad about ourselves. So we feel bad about everybody else. So we keep our conflicts, you know, we're, we're kept in a, a cycle of conflict against ourselves, against everybody else, against the world, you know? And it's not there to make us feel better. It's there to make us feel bad, to make us feel bad about ourselves. So we spend more, so we do more, so, you know, we constantly think that we need to make things better. When in reality, no, all we need to do is make ourselves better. We can't fix everything else. We can't fix everybody else. We have to start with ourselves. Because once we fix ourselves, everything else works out, you know? If I can fix myself, I'm damn sure a lot of other people can fix themselves too, you know? Um, I, I never thought I would be able to fix myself, but I did, you know? Um, for me, that's a big miracle. That is the biggest miracle I will ever have in my life, you know? Being able to especially talk about it. <laughs> talk about it without getting upset. You know, this is what emotional intelligence is. It's not getting upset because of our past traumas and not getting upset because somebody's triggering them. Um, anyway, yes. <laughs> I had a little bit of rant there, but there we are. Um, but yeah, um, we do need to bring a lot more happiness into our lives. Forcefully bring happiness into our lives, you know, because we are so trapped in that mindset of doom and gloom, worry. Oops, excuse me, sadness, sorry. <laughs> it wasn't long since I had breakfast, so <laughs> I'm burping. Oh, it tasted bacon, nice. I had a fried breakfast, <laughs> it was very nice. Um, but yeah, bring happiness into your life. Make it a choice every single day. Even put a little reminder on your phone you know, or even if you can have your most favourite song wake you up as your alarm, you know, on your phone, you know, sets you on a good mood straight away. Uh, yeah, if not, then something else that would make you feel happy. Whatever makes you feel happy, there's so many different things that can make someone feel happy. As long as it's good, you know, as long as it's not causing danger to yourself or to anybody else, you know, yeah happiness into your life anyway i am sending you my love and my light and i hope you have a, a wonderful day whoever you are and wherever you are in this world bring happiness into your life it's your choice okay so bye bye everyone